Okay, this is a uh, late 60s, early 70s um, Sony ST80F tuner. This is one of the f this is the first tuner actually I ever owned. Um, just bought this one on eBay, uh, non-working. They're a lovely, um, lovely tuner. They, from what I remember, they had a nice sound. They had quite a sort of smooth, warm sound. Um, and apparently, a lot of people say they're quite sensitive. I can't, I can't really confirm that because I had no no other tuner to compare it to. Um, this one here, I have powered it up. It is dead, but it does actually just look like the power switch has fallen apart. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to um, whip the back off and um, see if I can short the or bypass the switch. So I'm going to do that first. Okay, here's the inside of the uh, Sony tuner, and you can see here actually that the switch looks like it's being glued by someone at some point. Um, the back of the switch has fallen apart. What I'm going to try and do, I think, what I'll try and do first is I will bypass the switch. Um, it does look like it's had some sort of awful solder repair on it. You can see there there's been some modification to the wiring. I don't know what the hell's going on there. Um, they look like that's the feed to the radio, there's the mains incoming. So someone's bypassed half the switch and um, attempted obviously to get the radio going. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to disconnect, disconnect some of the wiring and bridge it up with the bridge it a couple of croc crocodile clips and uh, see if this tune has got any life in it at all. Okay, I've switch is fallen apart when I uh, poked the wires about. And as you can see, they're the they're the, uh, the the metal sliders and the plungers that activ activate the switch. The inside of the switch actually looks okay. The back of the switch is broken off, so I might have another go at. Uh, trying to fix that first before I jump to the switch so I'm going to have to take the front of the radio off to get the switch apart so that will be the next step so let's see if we can get the front of the radio off it should be fairly straightforward I expect to be able to pull the knob off and then it's these four screws here there are signs that it's possibly been apart before someone's obviously had a go at fixing it before Replace this, or I can't repair the switch. I, I'll look out for another scrap radio on the eBay or something similar of the similar era. Maybe replace it with a, another switch. one hand, I'll take the front off and I'll come back. Okay, that's the front of the switch off, so that has to go back on there, so I've got to find a way of sticking that back on there and getting it to haul together. See the front of the radio is off, the meter is exposed, all the all the covers of the meters um, are on the front panel. You can also see that obviously there's a little bit of heat damage, there's a, there's a bulb in the centre there, and that's obviously discoloured the uh, the perspex slightly. I'm going to give that a clean up. That should that should clean up fine. Um, so let's have a go at that. Okay, this I've sort of got the switch back together again. Uh, the side of the case has, has broken out. The side of the switch as well. I don't you can see it's behind that capacitor. I've got the cable tie there, obviously, because the lugs are broken off the back of the of the switch. Um, but it works. So. What I think I'm going to do is going to try and pop it back into the front of the set there and power it up, see what happens. Okay, the switch is back in place, that's good, that seems to be nice. Uh, I'll try that in a minute. I've noticed actually that both the bubbles are missing from the set, so I don't know why someone's taken them out. Um, I'm going to have a go at cleaning up the, uh, the perspex with this 
also glean other products are available. Uh, super resin polish. I'm going to give that a quick wipe over and hopefully get that, that sort of glaze off. So I'll give that a go. Um, so I can find some bulbs, though I don't think I've got anything. I should think they're probably 12 volts. And uh, and then we'll power the setup. Probably power the setup actually without the front on it, just to see see if the thing actually works. The bulb's been pinched. I'm starting to wonder if anything else has been scavenged from this set. So I'll give this a clean up, and then we'll uh, power the setup. Okay, I cleaned the front up. Let's got that mark off the glass or the perspex. That's good. So we've plugged into the isolation transformer. Let's enable the power and see what happens. I don't suppose we'll know a lot really because if they've taken the uh, bulbs out, I won't be able to tell if it's working or not. So I think the thing to do um, is to plug it into the uh, amplifier and see if we've got any audio. Let's about, see if we've got any signs of anything at all. Bear with me whilst I find the amplifier on. Oh, that's touching. Okay, that's the audio lead. We've got two outputs on the back of these. We've got a high and a low. I don't know which one I'm going into at the moment. I can't see. Okay, that's connected. Oh, straight away. Straight away it works. Excellent. And that's no, there's no aerial connected either. Ah, whoops. Oh, that's a good result. Channel a moment. So he switches AFC. It's mono. It's AFC off. Okay, well, I've only got one channel. Is that the amp or something? Let's have a look why we've got one channel so much louder than the other. Strange. Let's try the other, try the other um, socket. Amplifier low level. Oh, okay. Sound about the same. Yeah, okay, the audio is low on one channel. There's clearly something wrong with one of the audio channels. We've only got very low output, but that seems to be working. Let's try an AM actually. Um, okay. Right, AM levels are balanced, it's the same both sides. Media in the electronic media at uh, 9 o'clock, it's some um, concussion. Uh, okay, so let's really go back to FM again. Could be a dodgy switch actually. Let's get the front on it and uh, see how we go from there.